What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the bank cash. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is build our UI. So let's go into the UI section, right click, create a new user interface, widget blueprint, user widget. Let's put something else, that would be underscore uh, bank you know balance or bank cash in this case and let's open this up so this is basically the money that you will have kind of of you know in the bank or in the pocket it doesn't really matter but let's go ahead and use dragging a let's do you saw a text i think with a, a border with a text will do okay and let's set this to be on the side and then let's set the border to be more darkened and maybe even transparent like 0.3 for example then on here what i can do is change the color and opacity to be something that's more like you know well I, I, well i think that uh, actually white will be cool and then we can you know put like a template of something like you know for example you mentioned this well not percentage but <laughs> dollars which is here cool all right so what we need to do is update this value right on whatever cash balance we have so for this let's go to the uh, character player blueprint add a new uh, variable and this will be cash let's set this to be a float and by default let's go ahead and put like a hundred of cash right you start the game with a hundred for example so what i want to do is basically go ahead and um update this widget every so often now first of all let's go ahead and add it to the screen right now it's not added to the screen let's go to the ui open up our hud and let's search for our cash and just drag it into here and now let's go ahead and just put it for example next to our you know want a level around here change the anchors to be like here and now we have it on there which looks pretty neat i'm gonna actually put it like centered over here i think it's a bit better and yeah that, that looks pretty good i like it okay cool so with that said now it is time to of course go ahead and bind this to whatever cash we actually have you know in our player's bank right so for this what i'm going to do is just go and access the the, the widget which should be over here maybe my yeah how widget okay so let's go into the event tick which i don't know if we have an event tick already so let's see okay we don't have but actually it's thought we don't need one we just can't do it at the begin play okay so just get the the hot widget right and then you make sure that this is set as this variable so we can access now the uh, cache uh, widget and now we can access that text how well we need to make sure that this text okay uh, which we let the cache text is as a variable okay so with that said now yes we can go back here i'm going to say get text and this will be the cache text and now we can just do set text and let's put this over here and then we can get the cache right and do a format text why well we need to add that dollar signal at the start so let's just press on our keyboard dollar signal put a space put the this kind of uh, brackets i don't know how you spell them and then be like the actual cache right close it and this will create the parameter so whatever is in the bracket will be you know replaced with this cool so with that said now when i um press play we can see that we have 100 which is pretty cool now let's go ahead go down and create two custom events right which will be like increase cash or just add cash right? i think will be a bit better add cash uh, or well yeah add cash okay and we can basically just add an input of the you know, the the amount right so for example float here and then we can get the cash add whatever new amount is coming in and then set cash so we'll update this variable of course right and then we need to go and copy this notes because we need to update also the um you know the the ui so every time that we'll do this we will also update the ui with that said now we can create another custom event which will be like um i don't know uh, remove cash we could say and then we'll do exactly the same thing but the opposite okay so we'll get the cash and then decrease right with whatever is uh, incoming so i can do this and let's put amount i have to create a new parameter 
and we'll set this new variable now we need to make sure that it will not go lower than um zero right so we're gonna be making a check over here and if this is lower or equal to zero okay well lower uh, than zero we can use uh, set cache to be well actually actually no actually we want to have negatives like depths and so on so we're gonna have it as we can go into the negatives okay <laughs> and uh, with that said we can just uh, copy this update this over here and boom cool all right so just for testing purposes we can you know go to the begin play and for example after a delay of three seconds we can you know increase the oh, sorry add a cache and for example you know 55 and now when i go ahead and press play you can see the top we have 100 and after a few seconds i'll have 155 so that's it guys found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like video and subscribe to my channel also i'm going to five videos and to so check them out we have the profiles on patreon youtube members follow me on socials join the discord server now yes well i said bye, -bye.